So we have two rats there, and you have to give them medicine, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, who's that one? Uh, this is the rat boy. boy. Alright, so how do you give them the medicine? Yeah, so what, how do you do it? Mm -hmm. this position, like, mm -hmm. there, the mm -hmm. So he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, but he was doing it. What is that? It's very true. Alright. Alright, he did it. Okay. I'm gonna go back. He likes to be on you. Well, that's okay. So you got the other one there now, huh? The other one is probably not as cooperative. Okay. So that's White Tips Boy? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. So okay. Um, so they. So that's actually Batril. Uh, is that pure Batril, or do you mix oh, it with anything? Some, uh, uh, syrup pieces, oh, you have some uh, syrup, syrup. What kind of syrup? I can't see it. No. This one you got from the uh, Oh. The so that's like agave syrup. Yeah. Okay. So you mix Batril. So um, and how much Batril are they getting? Zero point one five. Oh, that's, that's mixture. Okay. okay. We'll have. Well, later I'll have to tell you what the <laughs> mixture is because uh, she just has the the mixture and she just adds the betro and and the agave syrup, so she doesn't know the exact mm -hmm. amounts. That I, I know that though. It's actually on our website. Yeah. So I'll I'll put the uh, the link. Uh, um, you know, uh, in the comments or something. Uh, so, uh, and why are they getting Betro? So you give them, they, they're, they're like making some sneezing, right? Are they still doing it? Um, I think White Tips Boy is doing that uh, more than the other one. Yeah. Okay, they're so they're that. still doing yeah. it. Okay. Um, and besides Batril, do you give them any other medicines? Uh, they have this rule in their water. Uh, Zithromax. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and Ambroxyl? Uh, Ambroxyl. Oh, and Doxy. And so Doxy. they're getting basically three medicines. Um, and these are really uh, intended for mycoplasma, um, you know, respiratory illness. So we're giving them all three because we want them to get better right away. Um, you know, they weren't so sick, as you can see, they're not so sick, but we, we want them to get better quickly, so we're giving them all three, um, at the same time. Um, you can give them, uh, Doxy and Batril, for example, but we're also giving them Zithromax, too, um, at the same time, um, just to be sure. Uh, Zithromax and Doxy can be dosed in, uh, their drinking water. That's why we're giving them Batril uh, orally, um, you know, with a syringe, because the difference is the half-life, <laughs> they're really cute, huh? Yeah, we do want them to get better because they're so adorable. So the difference is, the difference is really with the half-life of the medicine um, in their blood. Um, Doxy and Zithromax both have long half-lives. So it it's, makes more sense to dose them uh, in their drinking water because they don't drink uh, a whole lot at one time. They drink all day long and that's a medicine with a long half-life. So you don't need to give it in a big bolus all at once. Batril has a short half-life. So when you give it the big dose all at once, it, it creates a, a really big uh, peak plasma 
and then it drops off quickly because they eliminate it from their body. But during the time when the medicine in their blood is very high, it's effective at uh, killing the bacteria. If you had put it in their wa drinking water, it wouldn't be as effective because it would never reach that same uh, peak uh, plasma level. You'd have to give them a lot more Batril, which wouldn't be good for them. Um, so this is effective at killing the bacteria, um, but, not, uh, but not causing them as many side effects as it would if you just gave it in the drinking water. Obviously, rats don't like taking medicine, um, you know, orally, if it doesn't taste good especially. But um, this is not so horrible because we do mix it with agave syrup, so it's very sweet and tasty. And it, it has a better flavor than, than it would if it was just sugar. Um, so anyway, I'm going to uh, leave you to it, Chong. Um, Thanks for taking care of these little guys. They're adorable. Um, I'm glad they're going to get better. They'll probably be better in, in just a few days. These guys were cage mates. So although one of them isn't as sick as the other, you do have to treat them both at the same time because, I mean, they're obviously all both exposed to the same bacteria. Just treating one of them if they're both living in the same cage really doesn't make sense. This is the uh, agave uh, syrup that we're using for the rats. Um, I, th I think we just get that from uh, Walmart probably. Uh, it's uh, not very expensive and uh, a little goes a long way. It's, it's very sweet and, and tasty. You can see it's brown. Um, it, it actually, uh, it's not just sugar syrup, it actually has some flavor. And the rats really love it. I and mean, you mix uh, medicine with this stuff, yeah, not much trouble getting them to take it. This is the uh, um, Batril powder uh, that we're currently using. We're probably going to switch to uh, using um, some liquid um, because it'll be easier to dose and it's already dissolved and stuff like that. Um, you can order all this stuff online, like Jed's Bird Supply has it and stuff. So this is 20% uh, uh, Batril powder. See these little spoons that you can get online. Uh, each of these little spoons, they're, they're, 100, they're 0.15 ml uh, spoons, and that's about 100 uh, milligrams of uh, the powder uh, per each uh, level scoop. So uh, that 100 milligrams, that means that each level scoop has 20 milligrams of uh, Batril in it. Uh, so uh, we mix that with, with water um, to make it uh, easier to dose. So do you have the uh, little bottle, Chung? Right, so uh, yeah, so yeah, right. So we have a little bottle, it's got the liquid mix. Yeah, it looks yucky, but anyway, it works. We keep it in the refrigerator. I don't know that you really have to, but we do. We have a refrigerator for medicine here. Um, and uh, that's already pre-mixed. So uh, she just needs to mix it then with the uh, agave syrup prior to giving it by syringe to the rats. And that's how we do that. And uh, we also um, have uh, powdered uh, doxy uh, this one is um, uh, this Doxy Plus. It's actually, I think it's 5% powder, in fact. Um, and, uh, and this is Ambroxyl uh, tablets. And those are 30 milligrams each. And you can get those on our website because it's very hard uh, uh, to purchase that in the U.S. Uh, but we have it uh, shipped to us. Yeah, so they've been taking medication for two days, so they're getting better than they were. Yeah. yeah, so we'll typically have them on the medicine for about two weeks in total just to make sure. Um, but usually if the medicine is helping, it's, it's going to help them, you know, uh, within a few, you know, like a, a couple of days or something. Um, maybe a little flower. <laughs> and another sign that, that they might have problem is that they're cleaning their nose a lot. Because they might have a little bit of discharge, which you can't necessarily see, but it, it's like their nose is, you know, like if kids had a runny nose or something, right? 
so they might have a little bit runny nose that's why they're sneezing also looks like they always like uh, sneeze all the time yeah they're sneezing a lot or making a lot of breathing noise or something um, that's why we get them. if they are more seriously sick you can hear they probably have a lot of mucus in their throat mm -hmm. like they they have to cough a lot more yeah a lot of like mucus noise or something like that um, but you don't really want to let it get to that point. So if you see that they're kind of sneezing a lot or making some noise when they're breathing or see cleaning, see, see the guy is, keeps cleaning his little nose. Yeah. Well, he's cleaning himself. Okay, fair enough. But uh, anyway, but if they do clean their nose a lot, um, that, that could be a sign. This is for roof rats. I don't know if that's true for Norway rats. I think Norway rats, they tend to have that red discharge. You will not see that with roof rats. So if you're looking for the red discharge, you're not going to see it. Roof rats don't, they do have discharge, but it's clear. Um, I'm not sure why there's that difference, but that is something to be aware of. They, they can have a little bit runny nose or something, you know, like, like a child would have, like a little bit wet nose or something like that um, and that means that uh, they're you know they've got a little bit of a, a head cold or respiratory upper respiratory and that's when you want to treat them if you can and we give them ambroxyl also um, which is not specific uh, it's to bacteria it's not an antibiotic but it does help them, uh, you know, get rid of the coughing and the mucus and, and the runny nose and all that that's bothering them. So they feel better. And it also helps antibiotics work better too. And again, you can get that, and you can order that on our website. And we don't make any profit from, from selling it, of course. It's really just intended to help the rats. So is there anything else you want to add, Chung? That's basically it. Yeah. And also, the, you probably can see the symptom more if you let them run around, mm -hmm. you know, rather than just sitting in the cage. Doing right, that. that's true. If you're just sitting in their cage resting, you won't notice the breathing noises as much. You've got to get them out and get them to do some exercise, like run around on you or something. Um, so if they exert themselves, if they have any respiratory problems, you will hear that then much more. And uh, Sometimes you might even hear them making some little noise or something like that. That's, yeah, it's not a good sign. Um, okay. All right, and I, I guess that's it. You see, these guys are really friendly and adorable. Uh, we definitely want them to get better. They're good little rats. Um, so uh, we take it seriously. If any of our rats have any sign of problems, um, they're, right now, they're not uncomfortable, they're not suffering, but we want them to get better right away because if you don't treat respiratory problems, it can become chronic and it can, you know, cause scarring and injury to their lungs and, and that's going to be, you know, like a long-term chronic problem. So if you treat them now when, uh, when it's just starting and make sure they get better, um, that's the best thing. That's the, they will have a, a good outcome and uh, they're going to be completely cured and uh, completely healthy. Okay, and that's all. Hi there, little fella. Oh, aren't you a cutie? Okay, yeah. Look at that. He's, see, he's thanking her. He's thanking Mama. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Yeah. Okay.